Now we're going inside the mafia. Two suspects in a case involving the shakedown of a local strip club appeared in court today. The former boss of the Patriarca crime family, Luigi Baby Shacks Monocchio, entered the plea he was expected to, but alleged capo regime Eddie Lato surprised him inside the court, rejecting his plea deal. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been following this case closely since he broke the story of their arrest. He joins us now live in Providence outside federal court. As expected, the reputed former mob boss stood up, pleaded guilty today in court, not expected. His accused mafia captain didn't like what he had to hear from prosecutors and backed away from the deal. This is Target 12 undercover video of reputed capo regime Edward Eddie Lato. He was scheduled to plead guilty Wednesday in federal court, but didn't, telling the judge he thought prosecutors exaggerated some of the facts. For everybody, there's a D-Day, right? You have to stand up and admit what you did. Some people are able to do that more easily than others. Uh, as I said earlier, Mr. Lato has the right to admit the facts uh, that we allege, or he has the right to have them contested in front of a jury. Neither route matters to me. Moments before, however, reputed former mob boss Luigi Baby Shacks Minacchio pleaded guilty to one count of racketeering conspiracy. As part of the deal, the 84-year-old could see up to 78 months behind bars. He also has to admit he's a made member of the mob. U.S. Attorney Peter Nerona says the admission is significant. And there's a myth uh, that New England uh, Co La Cosa Nostra does not exist. It very plainly exists. Mr. Minacchio admitted that today. Law enforcement has been saying that for years. Minocchio is accused of shaking down strip clubs for protection money. Lato is accused in that scheme, as well as extorting 20 grand from a used car salesman over a debt. Minocchio is scheduled to be sentenced in May. As for Lato, a plea deal still could happen. The judge ordered him to consult with his lawyer in the coming weeks. Purveyors of misery, that's what they are. They shake people down, they prey on their own culture, they prey on their own people. So um, the plea of Minocchio was decades and decades in the making. In a lighter moment, the judge asked Minocchio if anybody threatened him into taking the plea deal. Minocchio responded, I don't know who that would be. Three others are expected to plead guilty tomorrow. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.